Welcome back to the channel guys. You're in the garage of Mr. Flea and we're doing a bit more work on the Honda CR250L. Today we are going to be fitting a rear luggage rack and the one we've gone for in question is the SW Motec one. I'll just show you it now, I'll unbox it for you. Okay guys, let's just pull it out of the box. Let's see what we've got here. Gone for the SW Motec one because it's a real robust bit of kit. You can find other sort of like cheap chocolate ones that will just do the job, but they're just really made of a thin type metal flat plate type arrangement, where these are a good, solid, uh, well-made piece of kit. Obviously made in Germany, so top quality. So there's the main rack itself, and you get various bits of hardware and whatnot, mounting bolts and, and that in the kit, with, also with instructions. So without further ado, we'll get into the fitting. Okay guys, I've just laid everything out. You've got the rack, and that's all, all just like, basically, it's just pressed. There is no assembly on it. It's just a case of using the spacers, the correct bolts, and a few washers. So first off, you just want to need to check you've got everything in the kit. So it comes with that. This explains what you want. So a quick check through means you've got two extra long bolts, two shorter bolts, a couple of washers, and two different size spacers. Now, flip over the instructions. So the longer bolts with the longer spacers go to the front of the bike as per diagram. And the shorter bolts with the shorter spacers go to the rear of the bike. So let's get that fitted. Okay, these are the mounting bolts in question. You've got one, two, same as the opposite side, three, four. So first off, we'll crack them using a number six. I think it's a six mil Allen key. So just crack them, we'll whip those out, and then we'll start to roughly align the actual spacers and bolts and rack in situ. Okay, all four bolts are out, and just going to make note of something. So as you pull these bolts out, obviously, as mentioned in a previous video, you get these little top hat bushes. Now they fit into the bodywork, and they allow you know this bolt here to tighten up without squashing the bodywork. You're not using these and you're not using the existing bolts. The actual spacers have got that section actually machined into them, as you can see there. And you'll be using the replacement bolts in the kit to mount the rack. Okay, first job is to just roughly put the rack in position. And as you can see, you've got the spacers there and a bit of space in there where the actual mounting bolts are. That is where these spacers come in Um to play so the larger ones are going to go snug into the actual uh, panel work this is then going to go in front and the extra long bolt through there now the shorter bolts at the back they're roughly the same except they have got a washer in place which i'll show you in one second okay what i've done i've just pre-assembled the uh, opposite side i'm just going to show you it, this side is just a repeat of the first side so again just going over a bit of stuff the larger section spacer goes to the front. Now that fits, if you can just see, so you're gonna push your seat down and that actually fits actually into that existing plastic work. That then snugs up to it. You use the larger bolt at the, use the larger bolt at the two, goes through that and then into your existing mounting point there. This will then, once you've tied it up, sit inside there. Then we're gonna to move to the back now at the back, you've got a slotted keyway. You just make, make a point of not actually putting in the bolt in the rear one, because then you wouldn't be able to actually get your spacer in. So that literally slots in there, do the opposite side. Then you can just let that drop down. You then use your smaller uh, mounting hardware with the washer. That then goes through this slotted section in the actual uh, rack. You can just give it a little bit of a jiggle and away she lines up. Same with the opposite side, and then we'll position the rack, make sure nothing's touching anywhere on the bodywork, and then just tighten it up. Okay, that's them all loosely fitted. As you can see, the rack has got a little bit of play there. What I'd suggest is just check that the, the clearance all round. I mean, it should be um, pretty much spot on because it is a real, you know, a nice piece of uh, German engineering there as such. So we'll just tighten up the front sections first. So just, just tighten those up so it just nips in slightly. So you can just feel a little bit of a bite. Yeah, that's cool. Move to the opposite side. 
Just give that a little bit of a tighten. Same again. We're not going to swip this. We're not going to be swinging on it or anything like that. And then eventually, all we're going to do is just give it a little bit of a nip. So that's just snugged up there. Move to the rear. You've just got a little bit of play. What I'd suggest is you just push down onto the mounting bolts because obviously you're going to put weight on, and you don't want it uh, to move around later. So just put a little bit of a weight on the back. Give it a little bit of a tighten. I can feel that's just tightening slightly there. Same to the uh, opposite side. Let's give that little bit of a tighten. Just a quick once around, check everything's all hunky dory, which it is, and then we'll just give it a further tighten. Okay, guys, as you can see, it's all fitted, and it really does complement the tailpiece of the CR250L and also the rally. So, there you go, guys. Thoroughly recommend this rack. Spikes has, um, like I say, had this fitted for quite some weeks now and he's always singing its praises. So uh, I hope this video has helped you out, guys. Just a little bit of a how-to video to fit this. It is very, very simple. Um, it just gives you the heads up on it, really. So, uh, yeah, okay, guys, I'm going to call the video there. And until the next time, keep it wheel. Welcome back to the channel, guys. You're in the garage of Mr. Flea again. And we're doing a bit more uh, work on the two R. Uh, <laughs> Welcome back to the channel, guys. Welcome back to the channel, guys. <laughs>